Hello everyone and welcome back to Embroidery Tutorials. We are stitching our way through Circle 7 on my 90 variation chain stitch sampler. That's 7 out of 7 so we are almost done. Today I'm just going to go over one stitch and it's a very interesting one because I did not learn it in the context of embroidery and I've never seen it done on an embroidery piece. But I think it would be great for that so that's why I added it to the sampler. And of course it's technically a version of chain stitch so it fits the criteria. I'm calling this stitch bustle chain because that's how I learned it, creating bustles on wedding dresses. So I used to work for a company that did alterations on wedding dresses and despite my complete terror when it comes to doing anything to an expensive gown, I was given the title alteration specialist. One of the things I learned how to do there was make the button and loop system that tucks up the train of a dress into a bustle. And we used a woven thread that we called bustle thread for that. If you've ever gotten a dress or skirt with a sash or belt on it, it probably has this type of thread holding the sash onto the sides. But I also eventually learned that we could make that woven thread ourselves. They called it chain stitch and I was like, Okay, but that can't really be the name of it because chain stitch is already a thing and it's not this. I dug around a little and I couldn't find another name for it though, so for the sake of specificity, I'm going with bustle chain. That was a long introduction for one stitch. Moving on to actually making it. I'm using three strands of regular embroidery floss, but you could definitely do this with any size of thread. And I actually did it quite often with doubled over sewing thread. We're going to use this double ring here, turning each bustle chain into a petal-like thing just for the funsies of it. Start by coming up through the fabric on the inner circle, then back down in the same point and up a little bit away, just like you're starting a regular chain stitch. Here's where that ends though. Don't take your needle through the loop you've created this time. Leave it where it is and keep that loop pretty big as well. Now reach through the loop with thumb and finger and grab your working thread, pulling it through the loop while still holding your needle on the other side. This makes a whole new loop and as you pull it, the original loop will tighten around this new one and slide down to the base. And that's it, that's the motion. You just keep reaching through your loop, grabbing the thread and pulling it through into a new loop, stacking up these woven loops on top of each other to make a chain. You can do this as many times as you want to make as long of a chain as you want. I'm going to do about 25 pulls on each one. And then to finish the woven thread, take your needle through that loop and gently pull it all the way through. You can go back down through the fabric then, leaving this textured woven cord on top. I'm going to tack it down in the center to make two petals and then tack down the center of each petal too, but you can really do anything you want with this. Keep making more until you've filled the entire circle.
I hope you enjoyed that little exploration into Bustle Chain, and I'd love to hear if you've ever seen or done this stitch before. I think it could really be a useful and fun addition to embroidery pieces, so give it a try. We can never have enough 3D elements. Thanks so much for joining me today, for watching, liking, and subscribing. I've got another two unique stitches coming at you in the next tutorial, so I will see you back here then.